What's up guys, Julia here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to sell on Shopify. So by the end of this video, you will know exactly what Shopify is, how Shopify works, how to open a store, what kind of things you can sell on Shopify, where to get those products, and how to actually get customers and make money. Before we start, if you still haven't signed up for Shopify, I'm gonna leave the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for your first three months. So first things first, what is Shopify? So Shopify is basically an e-commerce management platform that lets you create and manage your own online store. And it's not just a website builder. You can build your website inside Shopify, but you can do a lot more than that. It's a complete suite that lets you set up and manage your online store. In the Shopify dashboards, you can add products, prices, discounts, sort your collections, organize your catalog, manage your markets, your checkout settings, your shipping settings, all of your order fulfillment, email automation, automations, and you can also install additional apps if you want to increase the functionality of your store. It's very user-friendly, very intuitive, and because there is no need for technical expertise, like there's no coding required, pretty much anyone who has a business idea, a laptop, and an internet connection could start an online store with Shopify, learn a little bit about marketing, and begin making money online. So now you're probably wondering, what can I sell on Shopify? And where do I get those products? We're gonna cover all of those topics. So first, let me show you how to actually open a Shopify store. If you haven't created your account yet, just a quick reminder, I'm gonna leave the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for your first three months. So go on ahead, open the link in the description and enter your email address to start the free trial. Follow the prompts to create your account. And here you'll be taken to your Shopify dashboard. It's very intuitive and very easy to use. Here on the sidebar, you can manage your catalog, your content, and some of your marketing like discounts and emails. If you click on online store, here you're gonna find some different themes. These are basically templates that you can use to design your website. Here you're gonna see we have free themes available and we also have paid ones. And down here on settings, You'll find all of your back-end configurations, like your shipping and delivery, your markets, your payments, checkouts, etc. Now, before you launch your store, you are going to need a payment gateway in order to accept payments from your customers. So over here, you can manage your payment settings. This is how you are going to receive money from your customers into your bank accounts. And having multiple payment options for your customers is definitely a good idea. If you already have a company registration, I recommend using AirWallex. I'm going to leave a link in the description. This is an excellent global payment solution for business accounts. They offer multi-currency accounts, so this is a really good option for e-commerce as you're probably going to be selling in different countries. They have really competitive transaction fees and also cross-border payment solutions. Just keep in mind that AirWallex is only for people people who have a registered company. So if you already have a company registered, I'm gonna leave AirWallex linked for you down below. Now, before we dive into the online store setup and design, let's talk about what you can actually sell on Shopify. So Shopify allows you to sell pretty much anything. We're gonna break it down into five different categories. Option one is selling your own physical products. So for example, if you have handmade candles or crafts, clothing or accessories, products that you physically have in stock, that's your first option. Inside Shopify, you can manage all of your inventory and you can also manage your order fulfillment. Shopify also has a plan for businesses who are also selling in person, which is called the Shopify POS plan, which stands for point of sale. So the cool thing about this plan is that you can have your physical store synced with your online store. So all of your inventory tracking is going to be synced as long as you're using the Shopify POS system. So if you want to sell in person as well, then you can upgrade your Shopify plan from basic to the POS Pro plan. Option two is selling dropshipping products. This is a very, very popular option. So these are basically physical products that are sourced from a third party supplier. So you don't have to do anything physically because the supplier is going to ship the product for you. So all you have to do is create an online store, sync the products from your supplier into your online store. And every time you get an order, the supplier is going to be automatically notified and ship it to your customer for you. So you don't have to invest any money in inventory because you're only paying for the supply of each product after after you've already sold it. So this is a very, very popular model as it doesn't require any upfront investment. You don't have to manage anything physically and the whole thing is just digital. If you wanna learn more about dropshipping and how to set up an entire dropshipping store, how to find products and where to source your products, I'm gonna leave this other tutorial linked for you below. 
Option three is selling print-on-demand products, and this is my personal favorite. So print-on-demand is very similar to dropshipping, except you're selling products with your custom-made designs. So it's a little bit more creative. So here's basically how it works. You create designs for your products, and you can also use AI for this. Then you upload them to your supplier's platform. You create digital versions of your products. So for example, you could upload a design for a t-shirt and then generate what's called a mock-up. And then you can sync this product from your supplier's platform directly Directly into your online store. So it's the same model as dropshipping. You don't need to have any inventory because your print on demand supplier is going to have those products in stock for you. So every time that you get an order in your Shopify store, your print on demand supplier will be automatically notified and they will then print the design on the product for you and ship it to the customer on your behalf. You also don't need to invest any money in inventory. You don't need to do anything physically and you get to sell super cool branded unique products. So this is my personal favorite business model. If you want to learn more about print on demand and how to actually get started, I'm going to leave a complete tutorial linked for you below. Option four is selling digital products. So for example, these could be eBooks or printable files, or maybe even courses. Digital products are great because they have a very, very high profits margin since you don't need to supply anything. All you have to do is create whatever you're going to sell, which is a digital file, upload it to Shopify, and start selling. So the only cost associated with it would be whatever method you are using to drive traffic and you're gonna have a much, much higher profits margin. So digital products are definitely also an incredible option. If you're curious about how to actually set this up inside Shopify, I'll leave a tutorial for you below. And option five is selling your own services. This could be coaching, consulting, or possibly a program of online classes. And you don't have to pick only one of these models. If you want to, you can do everything in the same store at the same time, as long as you have a unique brand that fits everything together. You could have some of your own physical products mixed with dropshipping products, maybe some print on demand ones, and possibly even digital files. What matters is that you have a unique brand experience and that everything ties well together. And as you are researching and deciding what you want to create, you might need a little bit of help with branding. So if you want to learn how to create a powerful brand, I'm going to leave this free branding guide for you in the description. And if you're not sure what to sell, you can use a platform called Particle to help you do some store research. I'm gonna leave it linked here in the description. So this is basically a very powerful analytics tool that you can use for store research, for competitor research, for product research, and to compare different selling possibilities. So they basically have a software that uses AI to track all sorts of data. You get to look at real-time sales from other stores. You get to see their pricing, their performance, and then you can use this information to decide whether or not you want to sell some of these products. So this is going to be really, really helpful in the store research process, especially as you're still deciding what you want to sell and what kind of brand you want to create. It can give you a lot of good ideas to start with. And once you actually decide what you want to sell, this is also going to be a gold mine for competitor research. So you can look at their real time sales data and their pricing, and you can use this to position yourself competitively. So that's going to be really, really helpful as you're deciding what to sell and also to help you position yourself in an intelligent way in the industry. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And once you've figured out what you want to sell, I have a complete step-by-step -step Shopify tutorial for beginners that you can follow to set up your entire online store. We're going over the entire process step-by-step. -step, so if you're ready to start on your Shopify journey, I'm going to leave that tutorial linked below as well. Now let's talk about how to actually get customers on Shopify and make money. So in order to get sales, we need to drive traffic to our Shopify store. That means using different methods to get it seen by the right people that are going to click on your store link land on your store and buy your products. So here are some of the best ways to do that. Option one is running ads. This is a paid strategy, but it's also the fastest option. You could run Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads, Snapchat ads, etc. TikTok ads are relatively easy to set up and run. And I do have a step-by-step -step TikTok ads tutorial that you can follow if you want to learn more about TikTok ads. I'm gonna leave the links down below. Option two is search engine optimization, also known as SEO. So this is basically getting your store to rank very well on platforms like Google, which means you would get organic traffic from Google search results. So this is a free strategy. However, it does take a little bit longer to work as it takes a while for Google to analyze your store and update ranking 
amazing results. So this is a bit more of a long-term strategy. It is completely free though, which means that you're gonna have a very good profits margin if most of your traffic comes from SEO. Either way, this is definitely a strategy that I highly recommend you implement in your online store, whether you're running ads or not, as this should be a part of your long-term business vision. And the next option is email marketing. And this is also one of the best strategies, especially because you can get started for free. It's very personalized and it's a very direct way of interacting with your customers. It's also a great way to build a returning customer base, which is gonna play a very big role in the long-term success of your business. So for email marketing, I recommend using a platform called Omnisend, which I'm gonna leave linked here below the video. They also have SMS marketing and lots of automation possibilities. Their platform is also super easy and intuitive to use, and I highly, highly recommend it for email marketing. You can also use it to create pop-ups for your Shopify store, which are gonna be a great way to share offers with your customers, to collect email addresses, and to increase your sales. And you can also use their platform to add reviews to your store, which again is also gonna help you build credibility in your online store and also boost your sales. I do have a couple different Omnisense tutorials that you can follow to set up all of this, so I'm gonna leave all of that linked for you in the description. The next option is social media marketing. This is also a free strategy, so it has a very good profit margin, but again, it does take a little bit more time. So this is basically about building a brand on social media platforms. So if you stick to posting high quality content consistently, you're gonna start growing your follower base and that can also drive organic traffic to your store. Once again, this does take more time and effort, but it is something that you should be doing either way because it's gonna help you establish brand credibility as people might want to have a look at your social media accounts before buying your products. And that's all for this video. You now know exactly how to start selling on Shopify. So for all of the next steps, I'm gonna leave a complete step-by-step -step Shopify tutorial for beginners that you can follow to set up your entire online store. We're gonna take it completely from scratch all the way to launching. It's gonna be very, very easy to follow and I will be answering all of your questions in the comments. And if by any chance you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'm also gonna go ahead and leave the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now you can get started for only $1 on your first three months. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It's gonna be super, super appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.